The Cats will think about this one for a while. Montana State had a double-digit first half lead, a touchdown third quarter lead, but failed to score a single point on offense in the second half in an eventual 34-24 loss. It would have been a marquee win, but now it raises questions. MTN Scott Breen has more. Well, the Bobcats leave Ogden wondering what could have been against number seven in the nation, Weber State. Bobcats won the turnover battle early. They led the game first quarter through third. It was tied into the fourth quarter, but then they gave it back with turnovers. Bobcats feel like they were good enough to win this game on the road. It's definitely tough in the locker room. You know, everybody, we put so much into this game. We knew it was going to be a war. Um, everybody gave it their all. And uh, to come up short, it, it really hurts. But I think I think we can use it for his motivation going forward. Disappointed. They're disappointed. They put a lot into this, and and I think from a, from an emotional standpoint, this can be you know this can be a tough deal. But you know our job is is, is to love these kids up. And uh, what I told them is that, you know I'm disappointed in the outcome, but I'm not I'm not disappointed in anybody in this room. I felt like those guys fought hard, and uh, and there's a lot of guys in that room that are finishers and competitors, and they want to win. And uh, you know we'll find a way to do that. Bobcats now aim to get up off the deck and again on the road at Idaho State. Both teams will enter that one four and three. Bengals, by the way, coached by former Grizz assistant Rob Fennessy. In Ogden, Scott Breen, MTN Sports. That becomes a must win if the Cats have any hope of making the playoffs. They beat Idaho State last year, 28-14. The Grizz, meanwhile, have an even tougher game against league-leading UC Davis. The two teams haven't played since 2015. We'll see if UM fixed their issues during the bye week.